Oh, uh, tam na. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cleopatra and today I am going to give you a very quick review on four of the oils from Swiss Arabian. All right, so if you don't know what Swiss Arabian is, it is a um, Arabic uh, perfume company, I guess, or house, um, and they sell perfumes and body oils. So today I have four of the body oils. I did went ahead and buy the Discovery set, or I don't know what they call it, and it kind of looks like this. And it's just little samples. I think it's like 27 samples or 25 samples of the different body oils that they have. So based on this is how I was able to pick up these four bodies that I bought with my own coins. So body oils come in these boxes. So they all have different prints. Um, and then when you open the body oil, this is what they look like. So I have a Molly. So it came from oh, shit. Ooh. You see the devil? It came in this box, this bottle. I also have Eulali, which is this beautiful purple one. And it came in this box. I also have La Yali. <laughs> so it's Amali, Eulali, Uh Yali. I hope I'm saying these right, girl. I'm, I'm uh, sorry if I'm butchering these names, child, but this is a blue one. Um, and finally, I have my personal favorite, which is called La Lali Rouge. So this is what they look like. All right. So we'll start with my least favorite and then we'll go on to my um, favorite. So. Um, coming in at number four is going to be La Lali, which is the blue one. And I'm just going to pull up um, the notes on my phone real quick to show you guys, um, to share with you guys the notes. Oh, so by the way, these are all coming in 15 milliliters. So this is for reference. This is how they look. And then if I pull it up against my hand, this is how it looks. Um, and then the top is screwy, screw on, and then the oil comes like this. So as you can see, that is how the oil comes. So you just have to be careful not to break that because I don't know what would happen if you break that. <laughs> All right, so first up is Yulali. Um, and according to the website, Yulali is supposed to be, is a, a plural form for the word night in Arabic. So it's supposed to be night in Arabic. Um, this fragrance evokes the powerful charm of those dark hours when mysteries and fantasies are the most affecting. So the top notes are black currant, orange flower, um, and plum. The middle notes are ylang-ylang. Um, Uh-oh, lost it. Where is it? All right, so the top notes are black currant, orange flower, and plum. The middle notes are ylang-ylang, rose, jasmine, and your base notes are argwood and amber. So most of uh, Swiss Arabians, Arabic fragrances at all, are like woodsy and oody. So if you're trying to get into oud or woods type of scents, um, and you don't want nothing too strong or too expensive, this is the route I will go with because these last a really long time. Like it's almost like I put perfume on. I like to layer it under my perfume. So let's try to smell this. So I'm just going to here, let's put it right here. And this I will say this is like the most Arabic smelling one. I'm just gonna rub it in so it can mix in with my body chemistry. It smells good, but it's the most like Arabic smelling one. Like, I don't want to say it smells like incense, but like it reminds me of like Arabic, like the Arabic feel, if that makes sense. Like you're deep and sensual. And, and that's what it says. So it's supposed to be mysterious, night. Um, 
I would definitely wear this in the night. It's really sexy, like, uh, it's really, really sexy, like, very mysterious. Like, that's how it feels, like, girl, like you doing something like this. That's what, <laughs> that's what this, um, this one smells like. So, if you like that kind of smell, go ahead and pick up your lolly. All right, and then the next one, um, coming in at number three is going to be you lolly and this is going to be this purple one here all right so on the website your lolly is a uplifting citrusy fruity floor which is designed to awaking um the sparkle within you so your lolly is supposed to be um sweet nectarine with crisp apples with the beginning blooms of a huge bouquet of flowers. So what um, Eulali means is joy in Arabic, I believe. Maybe not, I like, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but um, it is supposed to be for the cooler season. So um, I have not worn this out yet. I've only worn this one in the house. And your top notes are gonna be bergamot, tangerine, apple, nectarine. Your middle notes are magnolia, jasmine, freesia, lily of the valley, and gardenia. And your base notes are going to be sandalwood, musk, vanilla, patchouli, and amber. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I'm going to put it on this side of my hand. Just a little bit. So a little goes a long way with these. And I'm going, I use this one for this side. So I'm going to use my second finger for this side. So I'll get a. So this is very girly. I, it's very, very girly, but like a mature girly. Does that make sense? Like not old, you know what I mean? But it does smell, it doesn't smell like, like vibrant, if that makes sense. I get a very powdery type of smell. I don't really get the apple and the citrusy notes really that much, but I really do get your jasmines and magnolias. Um, the vanilla is really pretty in this, so I really like this one. I like it wearing this to layer things as well. Um, any vanilla -y scent will go really well with this. Um, anything with jasmine, obviously, because it has jasmine in it, will go really well with this. So I think this is a safe blind buy. Um, if you like very girly scents um, that are not too fruity flirty, you know what I mean? So this is Yalali. So coming in at number two is going to be a Molly, which is this beautiful pink bottle. Love this bottle. It's uh, All the bottles are pretty, to be honest. Um, they look very, very cute on, on your vanity. Sorry to keep looking down. I just want to make sure I get you guys like the correct notes of these so supposed to be a woodsy fruity uh powdery type of scent um the base notes are cedar wood excuse me the top notes are pineapple lemon apple um it's a gourmand oriental um it's supposed to be uh, the middle notes are jasmine and rose the base notes are cedar wood sandal um musk vanilla amber 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 and caramel so with this one if you like rose oh girl i can't even get it off okay honey let me try to not break my stuff now if you like rose smells like powdery rose you will like this very sweet like a very sweet rose so i'm going to put it on the back of this hand just a little bit, because like I said, these last very concentrated, so they last pretty long. I'm gonna use this finger to rub it in. I'm gonna smell like a bouquet by the time I'm done. And this is very, very powdery. Like, <laughs> dare I say baby powder? <laughs> like when you first put it on, it's very powdery. Like, so you like that powdery rose type of smell, you would like this. 
Now, I like wearing this under um, the Lena Exclusive. This one by Perfume de Marley. I like wearing this a little bit like on my little hot spots, like behind my ears and like on my wrist and like um, right here in the crevices of my elbows. That's why I like wearing this underneath the Lena. I think it complements it very, very well because the Lena is very powdery. Excuse me, the Lena exclusive. Let me be before y'all perfume addicts come and come for me. <laughs> um, it's very powdery and rosy as well, very girly. I do think this is... I don't think this will be the best in the daytime. I think it may be just a little too strong in the woods, like this, that cedar wood smell in the daytime. I think this is, um, performs better at night because um, it's already really strong. So I feel like if you're in the daytime and the heat is, um, you know, when your body heat starts getting mix up with the smell i think it's just going to be too overpowering so in my opinion i will definitely um only use this at night or use it very sparingly but it smells really great so that's coming in at number two and then my absolute favorite one the one that made me buy this bundle in the first place is this one like when i got the little sample i used the sample out and i'm telling you like the samples are not <laughs> they are not they're like about this much and i use I used the entire, let me see if I can find it. I literally, I can't even find it. I might have thrown it away because it was, it was damn near empty. I literally used the entire thing. I love this one. So this is Lalali Layali. I am butchering these names, sis. Get it together, girl. Um, Layali Rouge. So I'm going to put it on. The back part. Oh, just before I before, when I open a bottle, it's just oh fruits. That's all I smell. It's like just fruits. So oh, it smells so good. <laughs> like y'all yeah, don't understand. It smells so freaking good. So, um, on Swiss Wabian, the says that Yalali Rouge is supposed to be a fluty floral. So if you like fruits and floral, you would like this. Um, engulfed in a sweet powdery shrewd with citrus rose elements and that is the perfect definition because I literally get all of those I get the fruits I get the flora I get the little powderiness and I get the citrus of it really good so the top notes you're going to get papaya lemon pineapple mango and floral notes it doesn't specify the floral um, the middle notes is peach and rose and your base notes are going to be coconut hibiscus and sandalwoods so um, it's supposed to be a gourmand oriental. That's the category if you care. So when I when you open this bottle, you get like fruits. Like you get that papaya, the mango, you get all of that. It's to like, oh, you get fruits. Like you just get that sweet, like nectary fruits. That's how I feel like this one is. It's oh my god, it smells so good. This is ideal for the daytime. So if you have anything um you can wear this on its own to be honest because it's that strong to be truly honest but again you know girl gotta be extra you feel me so i like again layering all my perfume oils underneath my regular fragrances so i would probably pair something like this with um this fragrance by claire massal which is like La Batir, I hope I'm saying this right, Parfum, um, this is what I usually pair together now. This is like a vanilla-y, uh, rosy scent, sweet and spicy type of scent. If you want me to do a review on this one, I can. Um, I bought it for a little shop. It's a very new company, so not a lot of people know about this, but every time I wear this, like if you can see, it smells good, but that's neither here or there. So that's what I usually like layering um, this one. La Yali Rouge with and it just smells so good like the I feel like if you are um trying to dive into like woodsy sexy sensual scents this is definitely a safe line like out of all of them I would say this one is probably your best bet on a blind buy one like if you don't want to spend money on the entire you know 
the discovery set samples because honestly within the discovery set i probably liked not even like maybe six of them so is it really worth it you know what i mean because i'm not a really true like deep incense um type of person um i don't like to smell too woodsy you know um but i do feel like when i layer my perfumes with or my fragrances with the oils it just intensifies it and kind of makes it your own you feel me so it's not like anybody's going to smell exactly like you especially when you have fragrances that a lot of people wear like coco mademoiselle department store fragrances so you're like your designer fragrances i feel like layering it with a perfume oil can kind of make it your own if that makes sense and it doesn't smell the same you just have to know how to put it together so if you want a video on how to layer perfume oils with fragrances so let me know girl i got you sis we here we here i got you but definitely check out swiss arabian um this came in the bundle so you can buy it separately so like just for a separate bottle of this you're going to be paying like 34 dollars i think with shipping maybe 40 50 dollars right for 15 mils of concentrated perfume oil, that for me, I feel like that's a very reasonable price. And look at this bottle, because you know perfumes and fragrances, when they become in nice bottles and they're really concentrated and they last forever, they are not in this price range, sis. Oh, I got you. Um, so one of these are going to be like $34 to $50, right? But I recommend you get the bundle. But check out their site. They have all kinds of stuff. I do have some samples of their other perfumes and fragrances and oils so if you do want me to do another review just let me know in the comment bar um so that'll be all for this video thank you guys for checking in um please definitely subscribe um if you like what i'm doing of course you know if you like what i'm doing and you think um you know you love my personality and you just want to be a part of this rebel family over here sis come on we would love to have you over here. So please go ahead and subscribe for me. Um, definitely comment your favorite one if you have tried these and the ones that you think look the prettiest. So let me know which one is your prettiest bottle of the four of these. Um, also like and share my video as well. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.